Hillside Manor had always been known as a spooky old house on the outskirts of town. But when the Wilson family moved in, they didn't believe in ghosts. They thought the creaking stairs and rattling windows were just signs of an old house settling. But as time went on, strange things began to happen. Doors would open and close on their own, and the Wilsons heard footsteps in the hallways late at night. They tried to ignore it, but the activity only grew more intense. One night, Mrs. Wilson woke up to find a ghostly figure standing at the foot of her bed. She screamed, waking up her husband and children. They all saw the figure, but it disappeared before they could do anything. The family tried to leave Hillside Manor, but every time they packed their bags, something would prevent them from leaving. The car wouldn't start, or the roads would be closed due to weather. They were trapped. As the days went on, the ghostly activity grew more violent. The Wilsons were pushed down the stairs, and objects were thrown at them from across the room. They knew they had to do something, so they hired a team of paranormal investigators to help them. The investigators spent several nights in Hillside Manor, gathering evidence of the ghostly activity. They found that the house was haunted by the ghost of a young girl who had died in the house many years before. She was angry and wanted the Wilsons out of her house. But the investigators also found something else, a hidden room in the basement. Inside the room, they found an old diary belonging to the girl who had died in the house. It revealed that she had been abused by her father, who had kept her locked in the hidden room for years. The ghostly activity stopped after the diary was found and the Wilsons moved out of Hillside Manor. But they never forgot the terror they had experienced in that haunted house.